Hello children, welcome back to the yet another session. Today I am going to start a new chapter that is chapter number 7, air. Okay? Air is present all around us, isn't it? We all can feel the pre its presence, but we cannot see it. Now, the very first thing is, what is air? Clear? So, air, it is a mixture of gases. Means, different types of gases makes the air. Air, it plays a very important role in our life also. Isn't it? Why? Earlier also I have discussed that we need air to breathe. Or for our survival, we need air. Whether you take the example, case of plants or animals, everyone needs air for their survival. Okay? So we can say that air also plays a very important role. Now, let's see the components of air. Okay? Components means the things which are present in air. So, the very first thing, air, it contains different gases. Okay? Different gases such as carbon, dioxide, oxygen, nitrogen, uh, then ozone, argon, neon. These different types of gases are present in air. But, the major component of air is nitrogen whose concentration is 78% and the next one is oxygen whose concentration is 21%. Okay, among all the different gases, nitrogen and oxygen, they are present in maximum amount. So these two gases are the major component of air. Okay, and 1% it contains other different gases such as carbon dioxide, helium, boron, uh, ozone, argon, neon and so on. The second component of air is water vapor. Okay, air also contains water vapor and the presence of water vapor in air it is known as humidity. So, Humidity, it depends on place and the season. Okay. The third component of air is smoke and dust. Apart from gases and water vapor, smoke and dust is also present in air. Okay. Their concentration, it differs from place to place. So, when these uh, smoke and dust, they get mixes with the air. What happens? They pollutes the air. Yes or no? And this polluted air, it leads to air pollution. Clear? So, the three major components of air. Air contains different gases. Air contains water vapor. And air contains dust and smoke. Now let us discuss the properties of air. So the very first property of air is air occupies space. We know that air is present all around us. Yes or no? Even an empty tumbler is also having air in it. So whenever we fill air in any of the object, so what happened? The air occupies the space of that object. I am explaining you with an activity. Now see, this is a balloon. Yes, I have blown air into it. So what happens? This balloon gets inflated. Yes, why? Because the air which is blown inside, it occupies the inner space of the balloon. In this way, we can say that air occupies space. Okay. Now, if you fill air in bladder or in a tire tube, have you seen it gets inflated? The tube it gets inflated. Why? Because the air occupies that space. So, we can say that air it occupies the 
space. Clear? The second property of air is air has weight. Now, I am explaining you the activity. This you will do it at home. Okay? Take a stick. Clear? Inflate two balloons. Take two balloons, inflate it and then tie it with a string. What you will see that the stick is in equilibrium position. That means it is absolutely straight. Yes. Now take a pin and prick one of the balloon. So what happens when you prick the balloon? The air comes out. Isn't it? So the balloon which is inflated that bends down. Why? Because it has the weight. Yes or no? So, in this, by this activity or by this experiment, we can say that air has some weight. Clear? The third property of air is air exerts pressure. Okay? As air is present everywhere and any weighty substance, what happens? It exerts pressure. So, the pressure which is exerted by air, what is it known as? It is known as atmospheric pressure. Okay. And how do we measure atmospheric pressure children? What is the name of the device? It is barometer. So barometer is the device which is used to measure the atmospheric pressure. Clear? And the last point is air expands on heating. What happens when we heat? Okay, so the particles which are present in air, it develops a kinetic energy and it starts moving in a very fast way. Okay, because of which what happens? The particles expand. Clear? So, activity is given in the book. What you have to do? Take a bottle, okay, and one tumbler. Fill that and at the mouth of the bottle, just tie a balloon. Clear? Now, what you do? Dip that bottle in the warm water. So, after few seconds, few minutes, what you will observe? That balloon starts inflating. Okay? This shows that on heating, the air expands. Clear? Okay. So, the four main properties of air are first, Air occupies space, air has weight, air exerts pressure and on heating air expands. Okay? Now let's see the uses of air. So, the first use. Air is useful for all the living things. Why? For breathing. Yes or no? Whether you take plants or animals. Everyone need air to breathe. Clear? The second point is air is used by the birds for flying. Without air, birds cannot fly. Now, how this flying process takes place? The birds, they flap their wings. Okay? So, in that way what happens? They push the air downward. And the body moves upward. In this way, air helps the birds to fly. Okay? Next, air is very very useful for burning. Without air, a thing cannot be burned. Okay? I am explaining you one activity. You all do it at home. Okay? Take two candles and light them. Cover one of the candle with a glass. What you will observe that after few minutes, the candle covered by a glass gets off. Okay? So, why the candle gets off? Because the air which is present inside the glass is absorbed or is used up for burning. Now, when there is no air, what happens? The light gets off. Okay? In this way, we can say that air 
helps in burning. Without air, the things cannot be burned. Okay. And the main constituent which helps in burning is the oxygen. Oxygen gas is the main constituent for burning. Okay. Or oxygen is used for burning. Then, air is used by the plants for photosynthesis process. Earlier also we have discussed this. Yes. So, the carbon dioxide which they want for photosynthesis from where they get? They get it from the air which is present in the surrounding. Okay. So, these are the different uses of air. Hope so. Up to here it's clear. In the next topic we will discuss about the breathing mechanism. Okay. Okay. Thank you for watching.